What's going on guys? HD Muscle Athlete, Brandon Harding here. And Valerie Retia. Sebastian Berka. Martin Fitzwater here, HD Muscle Athlete. My name is Jordan Dixon, but everyone calls me Jordy Dick. So my name is Dylan McKenna. And today we're gonna to be answering a few questions for HD Muscle. So the reason why I want to be a pro is not just so I can walk around with a pro card in my wallet. Not for the status, but for the, the, the feeling of achievement. How much work you have to put in to actually, you know, be in that position where you're a pro athlete. And for me, you know, this is something that I love with all my heart, bodybuilding. I fell in love with it when I was 15, 16 years old and it's been seven, eight years now. I want to be a pro because of how it feels on stage and that would be the next goal for me feeling of winning just like it gives you such a sense of accomplishment and it's like everything all the work that you put in over that period of time is so worth it and i won the european classic championship so the next goal for me to step up is a pro card i've been busting my fucking ass in the gym out of the gym in the kitchen where i am right now and yeah it just would be really nice to be able to you know solidify things with that pro card Basically for me, my backstory is uh, I kind of like grew up in the gym, you know, my mom worked at one, so she would take me with her to work throughout the years and uh, I kind of just grew up in that environment. It was like inevitable. Uh, my mother would work at home, I would do like those home workout DVDs and I was little and I'd do them with her and then uh, when I got older, you know, I kind of started do doing them by myself. I grew up on a ranch in rural Wyoming. And because of that, I just have a lot of blue collar work ethic in me. My dad's oil field, um, obviously mom was from a ranching family. And because of that, I've worked my whole life, uh, worked labor, now I work construction. I really, really love the idea of just hard work and that's what got me into bodybuilding. But then competing, it's just something I've always wanted to do. I've always loved the idea of stepping on stage and showcasing something that you develop over a long period of time. I would do P90X, you know, like after full practice and stuff like that. And then once I turned uh, 13 actually, I went down to the YMCA. I had to lie about my age and say I was 16 and then uh, my dad gave me the encyclopedia of bodybuilding and he said I really couldn't use heavy weights, um, only push-ups and sit-ups and pull-ups until I read that book. And because of that, I went through it, I highlighted what I thought was important about the training and stuff. I got my first gym membership and ever since then, you know, I just never stopped going. I fell in love with it, became a whole time, became a whole passion. Uh, completely changed my life and then I got more and more and more involved you know I met people who were more involved I started working at a supplement store and that got me really really into it that's what kind of introduced me to the competing aspect working at that store and uh, you know just being in that environment every day I read into the competing stuff just because it was in the book and it really got me intrigued and interested in bodybuilding I started following guys like Jay Cutler and Phil Heath and Kai Green and things like that my lifting career kind of took off in sports so i'm an ex-college athlete i was a division one shot put thrower on the track team at the university of wyoming and i did that for a couple years and i just decided that uh college sports just weren't for me anymore my college coach retired and because of that i just didn't want to deal with bringing a new coach in and and seeing if i liked them i came to the school for him so I retired from track and I became a bodybuilder. I've been doing that since 2017 um, as my competition outlet, I guess you could say. Yeah, so the way that I stay disciplined on a daily basis is simple. 
So for me, discipline comes with your what you do on a daily basis. Basically, going into a routine. So once you establish a routine and stay disciplined with that routine, um, you can kind of achieve whatever you want. This can include setting up a schedule for yourself, so making sure that you're planning out your days pro properly so that you stay on track. If you fall off track and you um, screw up throughout your day, that's okay, but try to stick to your schedule because it is going to be set setting you up for success in the long run. Um, I have a goal in mind, which is to become a professional athlete, and I know what it takes to get there, and so even if I'm not motivated, the discipline does not waver because of the goals that I have and you know where I want to get to. And you know, on the days that you don't want to do it, those are the days you need to do it the most because then you know on those good days you'll feel even better. So that's how I go about my discipline. You know, it really just comes down to willpower, consistency, uh, habitual things, and uh, you know, really just sticking with your vision and being strong. You know, it's not easy. It's not always easy. It's very easy to get distracted and go off track. Discipline is something that's kind of come to me easy. Um, I always grew up in sports. I was a wrestler. In fact, my dad had me in wrestling at three years old. And because of that, I was used to cutting weight. I wasn't used to cutting weight in the right ways. I was used to starving myself and running extra miles and and whatever, saunaing and whatever I had to to make weight. But because of that, I really learned how to be mentally tough and handle tough situations in which your body just wants to be out of that situation. It's really just about having that balance if you want to be consistent every day and stay dedicated. You know, if you get too caught up in things, you'll get overwhelmed and it'll stress you out and that's when people usually just fall off because they can't keep up with that kind of lifestyle. And not to say that this lifestyle is easy at all, but uh, there's ways to make it easier to maintain for yourself as well as growing up on the ranch and constantly having to work and prove myself as somebody that was gonna, you know, help make the family money, so. I think that this is super important because this is like a connection to the the bodybuilding world so people want to cheer you on people want to kind of encourage you you know nowadays the fitness industry is completely different from how it was you know 10 or 15 years ago social media has changed absolutely everything you know you could be a nobody who's never competed or done anything but if you have good content and a loyal following you know that's all you need to make it in this industry and the fact that me myself i can build a platform where i can have a supportive community that'll lift me up as well when i'm feeling down when maybe I, i'm not feeling like i'm into it when maybe i'm feeling demotivated on a certain day i have a surrounding community that will help me at the end of the day lift me up and push me to do more when I first got into this, um, one of my favorite guys was Dallas McCarver. Dallas reached out or reached back to me when I reached out to him to tell him that he was my favorite and that I loved his blue collar country attitude. You know, growing up on a ranch, most of these bodybuilders are from a city where they had a nice gym and they lived in California. And Dallas was the opposite of that. Dallas was a blue collar, hardworking boy from the South. and I. I just really connected with him and because of that um, I reached out to him and I've reached out to Matt as well and because of that I've made bonds with those guys um, and it's made me a better bodybuilder probably because of it from all the connections that I've made and so I love that my followers can, can follow along and connect with me as well as I've done with the people that I'm followers and fans of. So my three priorities on a daily basis that a lot of people probably wouldn't know if they weren't into bodybuilding would be number one, getting a gallon to a gallon and a half of water every single day. To become better every day in one way or another, whether it's mentally or physically, to stay disciplined. So to me, uh, one of the coolest things about this sport is discipline and knowing that I can do what 99% of other humans can't or aren't willing to do. It's a priority, but it's also kind of at the end of the day, it's a pat on the back because I know that I'm doing what others can't. And the third one would probably be 
theater workouts at night, which what I do is 100 reps on biceps and 100 reps on triceps with a 20 pound dumbbell every single night before I go to bed. I don't have a biggest inspiration. I just try to put a bit of pressure on myself, but not too much. Like I constantly think like, what if that doesn't happen in my life? Like what if these things that I think about at night don't happen? It's literally gonna be a waste of time. Like I'm gonna waste my life if I don't achieve the things that I wanna achieve. So I constantly motivate myself because you kind of have to like, yes, you can take inspiration from like individuals throughout life. And if that was the case, I would have a very long list. I don't have like an, an exact individual who inspires me because I've gained inspiration from people that I've watched on YouTube, followed on Instagram, people that I've met, friends and family. Like I take a little bit of inspiration from anyone that is following a goal and doing whatever it takes to achieve that goal. So everyone inspires me. You know, the goal is Olympia, and I know that'll happen in time. So the, that's pretty much my goal right now, is to go get my pro card before I can do anything in the pro ranking, obviously. Um, I got second out there last year, and just planning to go win my pro card out there. I recently moved here to Ontario to pursue my dream of becoming a pro athlete. So I'm not a pro yet, but I am working towards it, and I am here uh, with the best team possible.